Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? Um, welcome to my uh, sort of a lighthearted adventure uh, into buying a new computer. You know, I'm doing this the backdrop of uh, American Truck Simulator. And I have my truck back, as you can see. Um, one thing you are going to notice that uh, I am, you'll, you'll be hearing some papers, I am doing this sort of half-heartedly through, uh, through a script. Because um, I want to make sure I say what I'm going to say. Uh, most of the mistakes that I've mentioned here are common sense um, uh, mistakes, and I admit that right now. But you know, pretty much anyone knows me knows I don't have much common sense. Uh, last year, I sort of noticed that uh, my computer was going by the wayside. I had an Alienware X51, and uh, everything was going on from video card to uh, motherboard. Uh, the cooling system was, was bad on it. Well, you know, actually, if, if I'm being honest about it, the only thing that was uh, uh, really good about it was the case. And uh, you don't play games with the case. Uh, you play games with the motherboard, the video card, all that kind of good stuff. And it wasn't working very well. So, um, yeah, I started looking for a new computer, and everything kind of came to a grinding halt. There were very few pro games that I could play. Um, yeah, everything was getting kind of laggy, so, you know, things like this were not, uh, um, were not able to play. So, anyway, um, I'm in, coming out of Fresno, and I'm getting on I-5, I think it is, the interstate here, and uh, going up to, I think it was Sacramento, I know it's been so long ago that I had set this up, uh, so anyway, you know, um, that's the, uh, oh, I'm speeding here. See, I'm talking. That's what happens when I do too many things at one time. Well, anyway, get back to the thing there. Um, uh, I went to, um, I ordered my computer from Dell. Yeah, I know. Um, but uh, Dell can allow me to make payments. Um, I can't, I don't have the cash to uh, just go ahead and make, make a, uh, buy computers from someone else. So. I bought me another Alienware. This time, though, I bought me an, an Aurora with a better uh, sound card, a better video card for sure, the T, uh, or the uh, 1080, uh, which is uh, 1080i, actually, uh, which is one of the better ones out right now right from NVIDIA. And I know that if I had set up a GoFundMe page, I wouldn't get any money from that because, uh, well, you know, heck, you know, I, I don't have the, the, fault, the following some of these other guys do. Uh, that would fund me to get a computer so uh, I just had to go to Dell and get me another uh, Alienware which by the way are very good computers I don't see it I have my laptop is also Alienware so uh, be there you know there we go uh, but uh, yeah like I said uh, not very many people like me enough to, to do that don't worry I've been married so I'm used to that kind of abuse so the computer was ordered and uh, it's not my first computer that I've ordered. No, I, I had another, uh, you know, when I bought the Alienware. Um, but uh, I, this time I had an external hard drive that I was going to save all my mods, uh, profiles, pictures, uh, everything was going to go on that external hard drive. And so I spent the better part of a week trying to uh, setting that, uh, moving, uh, migrating all that, uh, all those files over to the external hard drive. Which, by the way, the external hard drive was. Uh, two terabits and it was th I separated it in three partitions uh, one for a video playroom which is where all my play my videos were uh, recorded to and also videos done on my edited videos so yeah I've uh, you know I um, uh, I, I got everything ready to go and uh, very nice to how they, they stop, complete stop to get off the interstate here. <laughs> yeah, I know it's game, what can I say? So, anyway, I moved all the files over to the new, uh, all over to my external hard drive. And when the new computer came in, I, all I had to do was uh, just move everything back. And then, uh, now, all, all, most of my games are Steam. Uh, I'd say 98% of my games are Steam. Um, so I knew that all I had to do was, uh, for Steam, was just um, 
installed a new, new version of Steam onto the new computer, and uh, Steam would take care of migrating all the uh, all of my games over. And I would take care of the mods and the profiles and everything like that. The profi profiles you need for ATS and ETS2. Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. Pardon me. The mods for all four game, three games. Uh, that one plus uh, mm, Farming Simulator uh, 2017. My favorite. So anyway, computer shows up. And... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm all excited everything else. And I hooked up the the, uh, the the external hard drive to it. It had all my files on it. And uh, it worked for... Now, it, you do have to remember one, one, one other thing that that uh, I, I had done was um, I had set a, a, a backup partition on the external hard drive, which I never did a backup. Shame on me, I know. I'd also bought a couple splitters that I could go between the old computer and the new computer because I still had plans for the other computer. I could still do text work and uh, and um, um, uh, paint shop and stuff like uh, the paint.net stuff and, and everything else like that. So I did have plans for it, and that became a pain in the butt. So I didn't use it after a while, and I'm just using my Aurora now. So anyway, I'm off the road here. Uh, anyway, um, I set my profiles for uh, 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 Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, and um, that was running really well. And uh, then I went to set up American Truck Simulator and set up the profile for it. And when I went to run the game, it said that none of the mods, well, actually, new mods were found. So I went to the mods folder, deleted all the mods folder because they weren't, they didn't, uh, weren't compatible anymore. I mean, the last time I, I, I played American Truck Simulator was uh, when they resized the map. So, you know, it's been a while. So anyway, so... Uh, I just deleted all the mods, and then I went to open up and, and installed some new mods and uh, from Steam Workshop, and uh, went to play the game. And it said it wouldn't load the game because there was not even one mod in there from the old game. So I pulled my hair out for a better part of a week, I'm trying to figure out how, how I was going to get around this. But everything I, everyone I talked to, it seemed like um, I mean between the forums and YouTube videos and everything. It looked like I was going to have to uh, make a new profile. So um, I went looking, looking for everything, double checking my profiles and everything else like this, and ran it one more time. I'm going, yeah. It says it's, it says it's missing pro mods. Um, well, pro mods doesn't make any maps for American Truck Simulator yet. So I was using the profile from. Euro Truck Simulator, and that's why it wouldn't run. So I went back looking for my computer, even went back to the old computer, could not find a profile anywhere. Even went to Google Drive, where some of the files I had hidden uh, up in Google Drive in the cloud. And, you know, it uh, wasn't there either. So, I thought, well, one more thing. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the external hard drive again and see if there's anything that I can use out of there. So I went to File Explorer and uh, opened up uh, Hard Drive and the file, the partition that I had, um, I had put all my, all my files in was now corrupt, unreadable. And let me tell you something, uh, at the time it was devastating because not only were they just the, all the mods and, and the profiles and everything else like that, but all the videos and pictures of my grandkids, all the van, uh, my kids, um, videos, all my videos that I'd done, uh, pictures of friends, of trips, vacations, everything, it's gone. So, and, and I, I really honestly did not know what to do, what I was going to do about that. So I called tech support. 
uh, went online to forums again and it looks like I'm gonna have to do there's this program that you can you can buy for like 80 bucks that'll restore your um, your uh, files and everything else like this so I even called a called a, a, a service that would send somebody over to work on my computer $150 an hour well I don't have that kind of money so well, who does really but I mean somebody does I'm sure because they they have they have a lot of work that, that they do so anyway goes on and I go on YouTube and I see this little old uh, video old video and uh, during that time I before that I'd, what could I do you know I, I play ETS 2 and 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 that but ATS was just bugging the heck out of me so So what did I do? I, you know, went on YouTube again and looked at this, found this video. And he says to run check disk. Go to your command prompt. Run check disk. Now, yeah, I've done scan disk before. And I thought, well, worst comes to worst, the only thing I'm going to get out of this is a new, a formatted hard drive. All clean. All mine. So I go ahead and I run check disk. And it's check disk, disk, uh, backslash and uh, the um, the file file the file folder's name which was F colon so yeah I uh, I went ahead and ran it and while I was running I went ahead and watched TV because it takes a while I drank a few adult beverages and went back in and lo and behold there's the F file uh, I open it up, and sure enough, there's all my kids' pictures, all my grandkids' pictures, files, everything. So, still didn't find the uh, the profile for ATS, so I figured, well, I'm going to have to do a new profile. So that's what I did. And yeah, I, uh, I used cheats this time. Um, before I was, uh, I was like level 82 with uh, 400,000 400 million dollars I'm sorry 400 million dollars uh, in the game and I didn't cheat for that um, I worked hard for that I mean I used the coast to coast maps and a few of the other uh, maps that aren't available anymore or I don't think they are anyway uh, so anyway I yeah I, I, I did did a cheat I did the XP cheat and uh, money cheat until I had like uh, I think it was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars here and Seventy thousand dollars, something like that, whatever it was. But uh, it got me back up to where I could buy trucks again, buy garages again, and I got money in and everything else. And maybe I should have done it the old-fashioned way because it was a lot of fun setting up, earning it, you know, the easy way or the hard way instead of the easy way. But for some reason, I just could not do it, so I just went ahead and did the cheats. So yeah, that's uh. That's what I did. And I used the cheat. Sorry about that. Uh, you can hate me forever if you want, but uh, I made the choice. It's the way I play the game, so and I still play it honestly and everything else like that. So, uh, hello. I'm losing my place here on my on my on my scripts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to do this again. Do this a different way here. Uh, well, let's back. So anyway. I got ATS up rolling again. Uh, a couple weeks later, I found uh, the file that uh, had my truck in it. I installed uh, the skin uh, on it uh, for my uh, truck, which I did a oh, uh, great, which I did a video on. Um, so anyway, uh, on, on how to make skins, but I did do that. So. And after a week, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've a couple weeks. I finally got my, uh, my my truck back again, my company going up and up and running, and I'm about ready to, f to drop this off. So, coming to the sort of the end of this rambling here. So, um, sorry to uh, put put a lot of you through this. Um, yeah, I I know a lot of you can you can laugh at me now and you can laugh now because uh, 
hell, I'm laughing too. You know, it was it was wasn't funny at the time because it was my entire life that was gone, just disappeared, and, and through no fault of my own. And that's that's really what kind of made me mad. Also, was it uh, it wasn't my fault. It was uh, just a it was just a glitch, and it wasn't it wasn't anybody's. It wasn't the computer's fault. It wasn't the hard drive's fault. I think it was the splitter's fault. To be honest with you, that's, that's just me. Um, so yeah, um, that that pretty much explains everything. And like I said, I know you guys can laugh about it. Um, I know I am now. So hope everybody has a good day. And uh, I know no one, no, not not a person, not one person, uh, watches my videos clear to the end. So this is where I can say that I made this video for no one other than me. Just me. It's very ther therapeutic to, to talk about going through what I went through for this thing. Um, and be honest with you, um, yeah, it, 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 it was therapeutic, but it's better than putting a gun against my forehead and pulling the trigger. Which I thought about a lot for this, for this couple of weeks that I went through. I think I had lost everything in my life. So uh, take care, take it easy, and uh, we'll talk. Catch you later. See ya.